Hi everybody. Different kind of video for you today. We're at the uh, club again. This is the workshop that we have access to. And we are going to make some antennas. Um, let me just uh, pause this and switch the camera around. So today we're going to make um, four antennas uh, for the club members. We're making an inverted L, um, which was designed by Golf Mike Zero Oscar November X-Ray. And uh, this is how it goes, the measurements. You can pause that and just look at the measurements. And this uh, antenna will cover 40, 80 um, and top band. Um, and it involves two um, coil traps, which we've just cut the traps down to size. And there'll be two of these on every antenna. We're making four uh, for the club members. We've just cut, what size is that wire, Andy, by the way? So that was 9.9 .9 meters. This one will be 6.55. That's the one. So we've already cut four lengths of 9.8. Uh, meters and now we're going to cut four more for the for the second part of it this is the wire that we're using so is it so this mark again then yeah yeah that mark again so So it's a bit like a uh, conveyor belt at the minute, <laughs> but we can get them rattled out. How good is this antenna, Andy? It's, it works well for what it is, with it being a multi-band antenna. It's, uh, it works quite well. A lot of the lads are struggling with the club now, really good. Yeah, yeah. I know Bob's, uh, Bob uses one, does Kev use one? Right, yeah. Okay, an 80, but this will be 40, 80 and 160. Okie dokie. Right, I'm going to put the camera down and uh, start drilling the formers. So I'll be right back. The picture's a little bit blurred, but I think it's 8.54 8 that, that uh, tapping. Let me zoom in. Where are we? What do you think? Oh, yeah. There. It is. Oh, the helmet's a bit. Can we zoom it in? So much. Yeah, 854. 854. So we want uh, 454 Roughly about there to do it 55 or there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's there wherever that is. That's it. Hang on a minute, was that other one? Was that other one longer? I'm sure. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, 100 metres, you should get four aerials. Yeah? Yeah. And that's how you can keep the cost down, you see. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got four, we've got the, um, there was that good on my couch mate, look at that. No it's not, it's not focusing. <laughs> That's good isn't it? Right, 
where's the other stand on that? Either way. Right, so we've got the two lengths, different lengths cut. And then we'll uh, probably go inside now and um, drill these farmers and get them get them sorted out. farmers and um, now that we've worked out the spacings on the coax on the farmers we've got as uh, as hole positions you can use that now on the large ones as a um, as a template so I'm just measuring them all off now and then I'm going to drill them all right as you can see we're doing the farmers now I've just wound this one on this is just finishing the big ones. Two there already made. There's two there, look. I've got these smaller ones, just done that one. And I'm going to be doing this one now. We've got the, um, the coax to length. So I'm just going to wind this one. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, 11 on these. So this is me winding it now. 11 turns on the small ones. Um, that shows you and above there it tells you how many turns on each um, and then we'll hot glove in place tie the wires through the ends and hopefully that'll be the next you see so this is the farmers that we've just been working on and doing um, so you've got your hot and coals together um, on one side, a hot onto this section, and then a cold onto that section. And that's on all these farmers, the big ones and the small ones. Um, they're all glued now, just waiting for the glues to dry. And then we'll be fastening the uh, the main antenna cables. I think you've already done one, Andy, haven't you? <coughs> but um so we're getting there it's nearly finished and um i'll show you one um the only thing we haven't got is dog bones for the end of the wires um well that's not a major issue so we'll sh i'll show you the uh the finished product as soon as all this lot's dried and we've got the uh the main antenna cable on we've been busy i right, see you in a bit Right, so here we have the uh, finished product. Well, it's not finished yet, so I've got to be sh each shrinked, um, and all these will be tidied up and sealed in. So you've got your three, you've got uh, your two traps, you've got the main one, I think that's the 40 meter one, it is indeed, that's the 40 meter section. Um, into the into the trap and then this is the 80 and then this one is your top band we're just going to take them outside and test them before we um, you know finish them off and make them all nice and tidy so that's it uh, Chris has done his other one mm -hmm. that's all done uh, there's another two that's half finished um, we'll probably get back to them later on. Right, so we'll give them a test and we'll see how we get on with that. Right, so we're outside now at the minute. <laughs> it's Baltic. <laughs> uh, Chris is all loaded up. <laughs> so we've got it just up on this uh, fiberglass pole at the minute. Temporary, of course. 
Yeah. Just for testing. So now we're gonna. No, it's down here. I'll get you it. So we've got it tied off. It's not as high as it should be. But we should get a reading off it now. Just to see where the traps are. I don't think people can uh, understand how cold it is. It's bitter. I'll just pause it there. So I've just run the radio out. get a good you won't get a good match on what we've got but the traps are resonant yeah that, that's good to work in they're all working so so it's just chilling now so no problem at all okie dokie they're all wet so we're going to do the other one they're all wet so we're going to bother them Yeah. Yeah. So there you have it. So if we put that 718 on here, it'll work on the top bank up because the top bank would be dead on. Yeah. Yeah. So the traps are fine. My antenna's good. And what you do is, if you wanted to tune that bike at the moment, I'd say that's like it. Well, that's nice actually, it's about 1.750. What's that on frequency? 1.75, uh, 3.745. So what we'll do is, let's just tune for resonance, see where it is resonance. So we'll tune for resonance. Tune for zero, so the lowest number of one. Run Andy. <laughs> so as you can see with this antenna, once uh, my dipole will put you to eighty anyway. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I really need is top one. Top one. If I can get top one, I won't be worried. If you had a radio 33 foot, yeah. 166 foot, 130, this would be ideal. So you just have the F3 radio yeah, but this one, Even an airfoil will make a massive difference. Yeah, yeah, it would, yeah. Yeah, cool. So well, they're working. That, let's just say you got it resonant there and it, it was like 6.6, .6, that'd be too long. So all you do, you just bear the wire back there and try it on there, leave that dangling, yeah? Yeah. See where it comes down before you cut it. Yeah. 
yeah. Uh, so that's what you do. If it was resonant further, oh, we'd have to lengthen it up there. You can do one or two ways. You can put a bit of wire on the end of that and join it. Yeah. Or like I said, on, on the back of this trap, this side of the trap, just dangle a piece of wire down. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. It's, so you're just extending this yeah, side yeah, of it. Yeah. Yeah. And the same with the 80. Either, either shorten this length or lengthen this length. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's it. Then the 160, so you truly 40 first, yeah. always the highest way you can take, then the 80, then the 160. Superb. Right, I'll end this video here, guys. So the antennas are working, the traps are alright. Obviously, you've got to get them in situ and then fine tune them. But it's a good antenna. I'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Really. And I'll give you a, a better report when it's up at the shack and I'm working top band and whatnot. Right, catch you later guys. See you later. See you later everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Ciao for now.